a local organization is striving to bring veterans together using humor and camaraderie to improve mental health. So that's the goal of the Irreverent Warriors. We're joined now by one of its members. This is Chris Kerwin. Welcome to the show. Good morning. How are you guys? Good. We are good. great. Yeah. So tell us about Irreverent Warriors. What's your mission? Sure. So Irreverent Warriors is an international 501c3 that was developed back in 2015. The original Silky Psych was in San Diego, California, uh, put together by a man named uh, Danny Mayer, better known as, as Donnie O'Malley. And he created Irreverent Warriors based on an idea of, of what if we could use humor and camaraderie to combat veteran suicide, to make veterans to remember to tell veterans to remember that they are loved, appreciated, accepted, and that they still have a purpose. And that's to bring other veterans together to create what we essentially had in the military, this brotherhood, this sisterhood, this uh, avenue to be able to to discuss our issues. And so Reverend Warriors is born. We bring veterans together using humor and camaraderie to improve mental health and prevent veteran suicide. And Chris, I mean, this is a timely time to talk about this as we're getting ready to celebrate Independence Day. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, so many people have fought to, for, to keep us and remain those freedoms here in mm -hmm. our country. So when it comes down to it, who's able to come out to these hikes? Is it just people who have been in the military and veterans or is it the general public as well? So it is a, uh, a mil military personnel exclusive event, but our, these events are put on with a massive support of civilian and veteran volunteers who are able to come out and support us. We need folks who can pass out waters, fill up coolers, help with um, setting up and tearing down our event spaces. So we have we have a need for anybody who's willing to help. Um, but as far as the, the hikers itself, we are all um, veterans or some sort of military affiliation. And that's not just United States military, that's also for militaries and NATO forces as well. And I love what you were saying about bringing all of you all together, especially those who have been maybe out of the military in a long time, for a long time, and mm -hmm. um, bringing everyone together to get back to that camaraderie and mm -hmm. to all have the same mission Absolutely. is so important. So I know you have a hike coming up soon here. Can you give us some event details on that, especially for those community volunteers who maybe haven't served, but they want to be able to serve you mm -hmm. all? Absolutely. Yeah. So. Next Saturday, uh, July 15th, we'll be meeting at the Elks Lodge, which is where the registration is. Registration opens up at 7.30 a.m. We'll be stepping off at 9 a.m. The hike is 7.3 miles long. It's gonna be an easy pace, two and a half miles per hour. Uh, if you think that you're too old or too broken to do this hike, uh, my father, who's a 60 year old Marine Corps veteran has had knees and, and stuff replaced. He comes out every year. I've had 70, 80 year old Vietnam veterans who come out and hike with us. So don't think that you're too out of shape or too broke to come out. Even if all you do is come out and hang out with us at the stops and just enjoy some humor and camaraderie, it's a great time. So I really encourage anybody who just wants to come out and have a good day to come. That's incredible. So can you tell us a little bit too about any other events you normally do and what's coming up on your calendar? Yeah, so uh, this is, like I said, it's an international event and uh, international uh, 501c3. So we have over 65 hikes internationally North Carolina has, I think, five more hikes just this calendar year, all within uh, you know a couple hours, four hours or so in North Carolina. But as far as local events, we do different things locally. We partner with different um, veteran nonprofits to, to set up events. Uh, one event that we always enjoy, we go over to Forgotten Road Ales here in Greensboro, which is owned by a Marine. They are a, a platinum sponsor of ours, and we enjoy some humor and camaraderie there as well. So uh, we, that's just an example of some stuff that we do throughout the month. They have a monthly Veterans Night every Thursday at, um, every, every first Thursday at 6 p.m. So a little plug for them. But yeah, that we, we do a lot of things throughout the year to try to bring folks together. We like to say that we can't prevent veteran suicide one day of the year. So we gotta find a way to get veterans out of their holes and into a place where they can um, find recovery and, and be able to feel like themselves again. Awesome. Thank you so much, Chris, for joining us this morning. Such an important information. Yeah. And as a reminder, once again, this is not an athletic event for the general public, but Silky Heights are for veterans, active duty, National Guard, and reservists only. But civilians can sign up to volunteer. Those local veterans are encouraged to sign up there online at Reverend Warriors website. This is where you can find ticket and event information.